Welcome to Small Spice Videos in the 14th episode of Assassin's Creed Mirage. In the last two episodes, we were investigating the bazaar and why merchants were being harassed and cart. We found out that the Harm Master in charge of confiscating any foreign goods was working with the Order, so we assassinated him. We also found out that the tax collector, Al Anka, used their power to exhort coin from the merchants, was working for someone higher pulling the strings, that seemed to be with the Order, so we assassinated him too. Now we need to go back to the Park Bureau and debrief with Rebecca. With that said, let's get started. Critical Hidden One returns. Finally. You found the path back. What do you have for us? The one we are looking for is a Dimiyun. Someone out of Baghdad. You are certain? I found proof. They were working with the tax collector and the harbor master. One used the guards to harass and extort coin from the Dimiyun. The other seized goods at the docks. Extortion, I understand. But seizing goods? More objects from these ancient beings they worship. They are looking for a rare hairpin imported from the East Road. It will be up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. An official invitation into the auction. Now, we have a way in. Well done. Our target has to be someone connected to both Al-Anga and Al-Kululu. Someone working closely with the officials. Informers heard whispers of the Khalifa's treasurer. In recent times, they have been quite involved in the businesses of Kah. Someone like that will no doubt make an appearance at the Da'irat al-Mal. We should prepare, so I will scout ahead. Meet me near the souk when you're ready. Not a lot is known about this person. Underestimating your opponent is a fool's folly. Worried? I will tread carefully. The plan is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin. And we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it. Whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wise, and how much more so for fools. 
هفن موفقا Do you think we need luck? There is a rot in Karch, treasurer. Property stolen. Merchants extorted. Foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin. One up for auction at the Da'irat al Mal. I will play the rival for your heart's desire. And draw you from the shadows. Assassinate the treasurer. Sitting at the top of Kark's web of power is the treasurer. In controlling taxes and exhorting the merchants of Kark, the treasurer is successfully funding the order at the expense of the people's livelihood. Conveting a rare hairpin from the east, the treasurer seizes and imports of any foreign artifacts at the harbor, causing great distress for various businesses. Having hidden themselves successfully in the shadows, the treasurer's identity is known to few. It is time to draw back the veil. Look for intel to expose the treasurer's identity. Expose the treasurer's identity. Obtaining the hairpin will get a meeting with the treasurer. Should have known you would be here, Kong. Ha! <laughs> you know me. Come, let us chat. I do have something to ask of you. Do you have any information about the treasurer? Someone who works for the Khilafa? The treasurer? Hmm. I do have something, but... You know, it hurts to give precious information for free. What job do you need doing now? <laughs> Already know what is on my mind, eh? You see, little Finch, the Da'irat al-Mal is not only an important event for the upper class of Kach, but also for thieves. Did someone take something of yours again? A precious ceramic saucer. Luca has it. He has always been jealous of me. Ah, where do you think it is? I knew I could rely on you, little Finch. You should be able to find it in the crates near his stall. Be right back. You, you are done for. And get the shot Criminal Here, dog. That's right. <laughs> Take it to me, Mom! 
Right. Eyes open. Hold on. This must be Kong mentioned. Now to find that plate. Instead of pulling this over all the way over there and getting the bomb shell up there, you can just do this. Use one of these and then one of these. need this to get up there on the other side. Trust Kong to own a plate like this. Now maybe he will tell me what he knows about the treasurer. Hmm. Suspicious activity on the rooftops. Our time to shine. Get yourselves ready, boys. The grand auction is finally here. The guards will be busy. This will be our time to finally reward ourselves with their gold. Join me on the roof and recommence. Unless you decide to run with your tails between your legs, chicken. Top in its chest.
Call to arms. Brothers, the yoke of the false Khalifa will not be endured. Abu Abdallah is his father's rightful heir. Are you dogs today without fighting? The time draws near to cast down the pretender and help al Mudawakil's son reclaim his stolen throne. Here, Little Finch delivers once again. Just the very thing I need to complete my set. I thought this was yours. It is now. Anyway. Listen close. I was having my usual afternoon tea when I overheard two ladies speaking about an order they fulfilled for the Dayadat al Mal. They made a beautiful rope for the treasure with intricate Eastern embroidery. Open your eyes to that. Eastern where? Thank you, Kong. The treasurer is likely a foreigner from the East.
Yes, friend. Welcome, welcome. You will surely find something of interest here. Longing for the exquisite, ya sadiqi? I have ornaments that hail from the Far East on auction. Rare vases, delicate teacups. But the hairpin is my prize. One of a kind, a beauty even the treasurer asked about. Wait, the hairpin? Where is it? It's going to be up for auction. If you wish to purchase it, make sure to bring a good bag of coin. A hairpin from the East? This must be the item El Kululu was after for the treasurer. I must look out for it at the auction. is not something the treasurer appreciates. I repeat. Not something we can rush, yes, Edati. The treasurer will not be happy. Neither will I. I know that. The perfume creation is complex. We are already doing our best. Your best is not enough. Come. We talk elsewhere. There are ears in the walls. That woman mentioned the treasurer. I should keep my ears close. The treasurer is fond of the Kina, as you know. No one is more unhappy when three dozen bottles go missing. With the harbor withholding our supplies, production has been slow, Yasahidati. Certain incidents there have also made our situation difficult. You are not telling me exactly what it is we are missing. The, uh, blood, my lady. The blood is essential in the scent. It is what makes the Kina perfume special. We must have it. I will talk to the Khalifa. See what we can do. The treasurer will have to wait for her supply. This perfume? On the tax collector's letters? I thought it smelt like iron. Was it blood? This woman could be from the Khalifa's inner circle. She knows the treasurer. I must speak to her. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidati. Wa alaikum assalam. I could not help but overhear, Sayyidati, about the perfume. It is not courteous to eavesdrop. Seeing as you are an admirer, you are pardoned. My name is Kabiha, the woman behind the kina. 
It has a unique scent. Rose, honey, sandalwood. And if you heard, a sliver of blood. Blood? I should have guessed. I had thought it might be iron. Blood is born from iron, is it not? But, because of that detail, it proves difficult to bring in large quantities. If it is so exclusive, it must be popular amongst officials. I think I caught a scent of it near the treasurer. Ning uses the Kina. She is quite taken with its rich mystique, as are many. Curious. You do not look like one who is interested in the art of perfumery. It is unwise to judge someone by how they look. Indeed. Did I not catch your name? Basim. Basim. I must not waste any more of your time. I wish you a wonderful time at the Da'irat al-Mal, Ya Sayyidati. So, the treasurer is a she, and her name is Ning. The auction should be starting soon. Assalamu alaikum. Yasas. Ni hao. Hello. It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning. To listen to your heart's desire and purchase what God has shown us. It brings me great joy to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat al-Mal. First on our exclusive captivating list of exotic odds and ends, we have a stunning statue from India. Made of ivory and crafted by the finest artisans, it will be a perfect addition to any home. Oh, hmm. what do we have? One bidder already. No, two. Calling once, twice, a third. Would anyone like to best that price? No? So, this piece goes to the lovely lady. Next, we have a one-of-a-kind ethereal beauty. This hairpin hails from the east. And look at the detail on the dragon. Perfect as a collectible, and even better as a gift for a certain lady friend you might have. So, so what is this piece worth to you, Ya Azdekhai? One, for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ning. The treasurer. Uh, two. Any others? Hmm. We have a third there. Oh, two owns it again. Number three. What will you do? How much do you want this, my friends? Reach into your heart. Listen to your desire. Hmm. No one? Then sold to the handsome bearded man. This hairpin belongs to you now, Sayyidi. Now, for the third item. And we thank you once again for making the Dairatul Mal a success. May your purses be ever full and your heart ever longing. Did you see her? A calmness, a grace, that had no shiny star against the dark night. It's okay, I can speak to her.
I have an appointment with the treasurer. Move aside. Apologies. My instructions were clear. No brooch, no entry. Do you know who I am? I need to speak to the treasurer. I was called. Summoned. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here to see the treasurer. On what business? I have a gift for the treasurer. If she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry. This is proof that I am of the Merchant's Guild. Look, see? With respect, that does not entitle you to three bags of saffron, two of vanilla, and a bottle of honey without a single coin. Impossible! Bah! This is a waste of my time. Hello! Trouble with customers. No more than usual. These people from the Ivory Coin think themselves touched by God himself. The Ivory Coin? I... I should not speak about it. I do not know much, really. Whatever you know can help me. Well, it will not hurt to tell you what I know. The Ivory Coin is an exclusive merchant's guild. They have a brooch that grants access to certain places. How do you obtain this brooch? I hear only respected merchants are part of the Ivory Coin, and that you can only be invited by another member. They think their status gives them permission to take goods without coin. <laughs> have you ever seen such vanity? This is expected in Karkh. Thank you. Hello, spices for you? No brooch, no entry. You know how this works. Yes, but I left my brooch in there. Do you not see the problem here? No brooch, no entry. La'anak Allah! What the? An exclusive union for the merchants of high society. I should have expected this to exist. What you have to do! 
Burn them, or murder their dogs if you have to! Understood, Saidi. We will retrieve your coin from the merchant stall on the morrow, at all costs. Why not today? Yeah. You lot are getting more incompetent by the day. Useless. This must be the ivory coin's brooch. Shiny. I have both trinkets. The guard will have to I'll let me in now. Not here. The Chamber of Antiquities is the treasurer's haven. I need to find a way in. Invitation to meet the treasurer, Kiva Greece, proprietor of Santo Statues and Sand. You are invited to visit the treasurer in her quarters at the Chamber of Antiquities. It will be open after the auction. for interrupting me. Assalamu alaikum. You again. What is it now? I have something that she wants. A Chinese hairpin from the auction. I also have my brooch with me here. Very well. You may enter.
This way, Sayyidi. I have been looking forward to meeting the treasurer. It is an honor. Indeed, Sayyidi. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. Got you! Everything prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly, Alone. Turn to the bureau. A word of caution. Aparika. I have never been one to extol the virtue of modesty. Yet there is something to be said for subtlety when it is critical to one's survival. Our brother's recent demise makes it clear that we have drawn attention from unwelcome quarters. Temper your own shows of wealth and stop bidding publicly before more blades spring from the shadows. 
Alba Helmet. Rouse out Alpha. Allow me to browse your stock. Here's what's come in. Can I be of further assistance? I have to go. Farewell. Nothing can hide from us, Enkidu. Hmm. 
Basim, how did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity hushed. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes. Wondering if they are next. The order will not stop here. If they have reached the east, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? It... Uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet. Disciples Talisman. This talisman is ordered with one attains the rank of disciple among the hidden ones of the Alamu. This is where we end this episode. In the next episode, we will go over to the Abyssia Bureau. If you want to see what happens next, please watch the next episode. Thanks for watching and game on.